Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Jurassic Park Operation Genesis. And in today's episode, we were talking about building a new enclosure for our new herbivores. So the Corythosaurus and Stracosaurus, and we're thinking about doing it in this area. But first, we gotta do a little bit of reorganizing. So, people have been talking in the game, so like our visitors coming, that they want to have some more amenities like uh, a bathroom and stuff. So we can oblige, we actually have this area right here which would be perfect for adding a little amenity section. So, let's do some building. Message from Dr. Gray. Oop, that's attractions. All right, only that would fit in there. Actually, no, it won't. All right. Let yeah, let's have the bathroom over this way. So, we'll build. Let's put a rest area right over here. Can actually move that. Hmm. Get over there? No. Alright. See, so yeah, I'm gonna put that right there. And. Oop! Wrong tab. Actually, I think we do need to do research, so. Oh, no, we don't. Okay. Message from Dr. Gray. Rotate that over. Wait. Yeah, let's, oop, let's do that like that. And then we can fit in another thing right here. So. Can we do it on this side? No, we can't. Alright. How about over here? Nope. All right. So that works just to have like a little bit more of a, a uh, amenity section. But we should probably also put like a security area, like a um. Oh, what do you call it? One of these. <laughs> a um, security shelter, visitor shelter. So what I'm actually going to do, I'm going to build out here and put one like sitting right here, I suppose. Oh. Well, that'd be annoying if I can't build because of that little thing. Alright. Let's go back. Oop. Oh, come on. Message from Dr. Gray. Right there. That'll work. Okay. So that's a little bit more security for our park dwellers. So we already have one here. We'll probably end up putting one in this area also. Oop. Yeah, just like that. Okay. So let's see what our mails are. What should we do here? All right, boss market. Delete that. What are your instructions? All right, so remains. So let's do that. Ooh, gold cell. Extract from that, yes. and then extract from that. Uh -huh. What should we do here? All right, let's see how we're doing. I don't think we're having disease in the park, but apparently we are. 
All right. So let's go and build our new enclosure. All right. So we just need the low security fences. We don't need anything like special. From Dr. Wu. Oh, look at that. Perfect. Okay, so this is going to be our new herbivore enclosure. Message from Dr. Grand. Ooh, Tyrannosaurus genome's at 50%, so we can make T-Rex, but we're not going to. We're going to wait till it's actually worthwhile to do. Ooh, like Kurthosaurus now 100%. So like bees found nothing. Actually, let's go to them and see if we can move them to like a slightly better location. Okay, retrieve, retrieve. Okay, so everything here has been exhausted for everything basically. So yeah, let's just put them back on there and then we'll find out. Okay, so we're gonna place the hatchery right over here right this way I think will be interesting oh that's not good malnutrition really Hello. all right paleo bale dispense now I'm just gonna make all these paleo bales And just in case, we're going to plant paleo trees, like both of the herbivore enclosures, because they do get nutrition from these also. Really, another Gallimimus. Same one. Alright, so hopefully that heals that up. Okay. So now a new research component. And again, just to make sure that they don't starve, we'll put actual paleo trees around. I like the looks of the modern trees better, but paleo trees all do actually improve park rating and all that. That's unfortunate. Okay. So hopefully if we can place... Oop, wrong tab. Yes, we can. Alright, perfect. Message from Dr. Grand. So we're probably going to add a viewing tower also, but this is just like a quick thing so we can actually get dinosaurs in there. I would like to reshape that if I could, but we're going to get the dinosaurs on the way first. Hello. 
All right. Uh -huh. Get those. And we might... We're probably far away enough that we could probably add another... Um, another a uh, arrival point. So, like, a park entrance. As well as, like, full, like, food and concessions and all that. What's of these? Great yeah. to see you again. So you have some paleo trees and like the normal trees all mixed in here, which should be fine. Ladies and gentlemen, we are happy to announce that the Cretaceous herbivore, the Rhesusaurus, is now on display in the park. Like the uh tiger pattern on them. I think it's pretty cool. Alright. Alright. Don't be that. Don't be that. Don't be that. What should we do here? See our problem is where we're harvesting is where we need to get our T-Rex DNA. And unfortunately everything's exhausted, so we're gonna have to use the fossil market. Great to see you again. Alright. So like I said a minute ago, we're going to build a second little visitor area. So I'm probably going to put that arrival point right here. Kind of want to cut into the mountain a little bit. There we go. Message from Dr. Grand. All right, what does Dr. Grant want? What should we do? Nothing. <laughs> All right, so build a little bit more amenities. Well, we already have the security area, so we don't need to do that. Message from the park administrator. Oh, and I did that backwards of what I meant to do. <laughs> Oops. Oh well, you know how we're gonna fix this? Message from Dr. Grand. Because I made this mistake before, but I just kinda rolled with it. We're actually gonna do that to make it look like it's meant to be there. There, that fixes it kind of. There. Alright. Oh, Strax versus a small herbivore. Okay. Strax or is pretty cute, I think. A lot more like a rhino than anything else in the game, I think. Because the uh, other uh, Triceratopsids have uh, like really bulky bodies, so this is kind of more skinny. Four stars, nice. Alright. Like I mentioned, I want to quick 
Oop. Can I get there? Yep. I'm gonna fix this so it looks less uh, hideous. But there's only so much we can do. Okay, so it's looking like if we want to finish our T-Rex... Actually, since that's still producing, let's actually go over here. Take a look at our DNA real quick. So, 50% on the T-Rex. 87% on the Acro. So if we want to complete either one of these, I imagine that we're going to have to actually purchase uh, fossils on the fossil market. How are the raptors doing? That's a grant lot. Urgent message from Dr. Man, the raptors are cool. Alright. Oh, the viewing dome's done. Alright. Let's see. Balloon Tour Safari Adventure. Balloon Tour for right now. Great. Although we have every creature that we probably would put into the Safari Adventure. Hello. Okay. Um, let's see. Alright. We're gonna go over here for the viewing dome. And I'm gonna Message put that right there. We're gonna put that viewing dome right here. I think. Oh, and that's gonna be a good view. Certainly. Oh, yep. <laughs> yeah, that should be good. Okay, we're getting dirty over here, so we're actually going to need some cleaners. Message from Dr. Graham. A little army of cleaners walking out. So yeah, let's go to the fossil market. Acro, Tyrannosaurus, Acro. I want to purchase that also, but if I do, I'll be in the red a little bit, so I'm going to hold off. Ooh, Tyrannosaurus, nice. Alright, so extract, and then extract. We have the machine gun turret, and we have the avoidance beacon. Um, so, we can actually use that to stop the raptors and dinosaurs from actually getting into these areas. Like if I place one right there, I can manage that. So it's on. Uh, let's fly over here. Another voice speaking right there. If I put it right there, it probably would have worked better, because it'd stop them from going in there too. But whatever. Then we're gonna build that right here. Applicant source is now 100%. Which is nice, because that means that probably in the next episode we'll actually be able to make the enclosure and release them. We got our viewing dome. Let's build some more viewing domes around. Alright, there's one. Hmm, I'd like to have symmetry, but... If I can't, I suppose I can't. Yeah, 
we're just gonna have to do this. There we go. So player dinosaur visibility is gonna go way up. That's kind of the area they congregate in anyway. Alright, that would make every enclosure except for this one have a viewing dome. This one also doesn't have the viewing towers. So let's get this in here. Hmm. Let's do like an end cap with a tower right here. Probably would have done better over here, but whatever. See, our park's kind of cool. Probably just one great big long path, mostly, though. But this big area over here is where the cool stuff will be. So we'll have a road going up this way, I imagine. And then we'll have the T-Rex area, the Acro area, and then the great big safari area, I think, up here. Yeah, I think that should be cool. Yeah, I'm, I'm liking our park so far. Alright guys, we've reached the just about the 30 minute mark. It's uh, 28 minutes, so I'm going to end that episode here. Uh, if you liked it, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Later guys!